Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. Now I'm moving on to the chapter in your econometrics textbook, which whenever you're using, called functional forms. What functional forms means is that we take some transformation of the dependent variable or the explanatory variables, one or other or both. I'm considering the basic case here of the log log model. This is where we take the logs of our dependent variable and our x's and this changes the interpretation of the model. So let's do one here with the let's see earnings data. Now to make a log we can create the new variable log or we can type it straight in to R. So I mean into eViews. We can type log earnings C and if we could regress that on say a ten year and we take log of that. This is now the log log model. Alright, here you go. Now this coefficient will be different if we didn't log these guys, one or more of the others. How does it change interpretation? It changes it like this. We would say that this coefficient now interprets it like this. For one unit, well one, start again. For a one percentage increase in tenure, the earnings is predicted to increase by 0.1%. Say it again, a one unit, one percent increase in tenure, the model predicts that the earnings will increase by 0.1%. Things to note, first we said one unit, one percent increase in tenure leads to a 0.1% increase in earnings increase because this is a positive coefficient, not a negative. If it was negative, we'd say a fall in 0.1%. All right. The other thing you'll notice is that the units, when you're doing interpretation, it's always these units you have to look at. Notice I've said everything in terms of percentages. I'll say it again, listen out for it. A one percentage increase in tenure leads to an increase in earnings by 0.1%. Okay, so my units were in tenure, log tenure, both these things are now in terms of percentages and which has a kind of easy to understand and this here log log model as we call it or double log model these coefficients are basically elasticities because that is the definition of elasticity you can say this point one is elasticity of tenure of uh, earn, earnings with respect to tenure So that's the thing. Now, what you don't see in textbooks is what happens if you mix this up? Let's add years of schooling. I could put log of schooling. That would give me the same kind of interpretation, except for now it's multiple regression. So you just need to know to add on the end of your interpretation, holding blah, 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 fixed, holding the X is fixed. But how about if I do not log tenure? So I've got a mixed thing now. I have a log of DV, log of X, but I don't have log of uh, another x being s here. Well, what you do is you just look at the thing that you're interested in, say that I'm interested in the coefficient of tenure, then this bit would be log log. Say I'm interested in the coef interpreted coefficient on schooling, then this would be what called log lin, log lin interpretation. So to get the interpretation of a log lin model, uh, just view my other video on that. Okay, hope that's been uh, helpful. Uh, see you around.